Hello everyone. Today we're going to get the uh, Embassy running on a microcontroller. Embassy is a very nice framework for embedded devices. It's for sysync, and I will be using my STM32 F411 device. So let's get started. Clicking Get It Started will tell me to clone the Git repository, CD into it, and uh, do a submodule update. Let's do that. Now that the submodules are updated, uh, let's see how things are laid out. So everything is laid out into an examples folder and there are different devices. If I look at examples, you can see that there are several NRF and uh, several SPM as well as Raspberry Pi. I will be using STM32F4. Inside STM32F4, uh, you can see there are several examples. My goal will be to uh, get Blinky up and running. Right now, the way Blinky is set up is it will print Hello World and it will try to blink one of the GPIOs, PB7. This is not the onboard GPIO, so I will change it to blink that. So the first thing I would try is probably just try to compile it. Let's see how that goes. You can see that all the binaries are in source bin folder. So this means for me to compile, I will have to specify which binary to run. And the way you do this is you specify minus minus bin and you say the name of the binary. So I will use Blinky because that's the example. Somehow I managed to get the exact time where uh, the format, wire format version just changed. So probe run doesn't actually work. So if I run program version, it says it's 0, 3, 7 and the format version is 3. So let's try to update that. It seems I am on the latest thing. So uh, let's uninstall it and see what happens if I uh, reinstall it. Apparently the package manager cannot find actually the decoder that's supposed to be used. Uh, it's locked to version 0.35 in uh, cargo. I don't know why 0.34 and 0.36 exist. So one thing that uh, you may try is uh, say that you want to use the cargo lock file to use whatever the original maintainer of the package used. So this installed, but it's still 037 and still the default default format version uh, is three. So uh, that's a no go. My next attempt was simply to try to install it from source. So I searched on Google probe run. I went to the GitHub page and let's uh, clone this. So now that I cloned it, let's compile it. Even though I compiled from source, it still says that the version is three. So uh, next I try to figure out what, where the string comes from and how, what library do I need to upgrade? So when I try to run Blinky, it gives me this version. It says D format wire format version mismatch. So uh, let's, let's prep for this. If I look at it, I see that uh, D format decoder gives me this error and I can see it in various version. The latest I have 036. But let's see what the latest uh, deformat decoder version is. It says here that the uh, version is four. So in theory, if I use the latest uh, decoder version, uh, it should be version four. Let's try to maybe upgrade program uh, somehow. So here I see that it actually is lock 035. I don't know why it does that. So I'll just remove it, remove the lock and uh, let's uh, compile again. Now that it's compiled, it will still say it's version three. So maybe I need to upgrade to a new version of everything. Okay, I see it upgraded the decoder and it upgraded various things. Let's try to build again. Finally, we got uh, version four. So let me copy this to my cargo bin folder. Now that we have uh, our default version, let's try to run Blinky. One thing that I notice is that uh, it uses STM 429. I have a 411. So uh, let me find what the actual string is for this. So there are several 411 versions. I'll use the first one. I think this is uh, correct for my uh, machine, my microcontroller. And uh, we can also find out where these are stored. I think if it was F4, uh, uh, 
29. Apparently, it's used into one of those dependencies. And actually, I know that RG will not show hidden. The actual probe run uh, for the chip is in config toml. Uh, let's uh, change that one. Uh, CCUX. I'm trying to run it without changing dependencies, so you'll see what error I get. It still says it's a hard fault, and the actual reason is uh, the dependency that I have over here. My first instinct would be to put the entire path. This will actually not work, uh, so it, it will tell me that I don't know what uh, this feature is. So uh, Embassy STM32 doesn't have this feature, so let's search for uh, just a 411. Over here you see lots of features. The interesting one is that uh, CC exists. So I will go in here and move the suffix. And now finally run Blinky. The neat part of this is that I, I see the logs, I see hello world, I see low high, but I don't see anything blinking. And the reason for this is if I go in the Blinky code, it tries to blink PB7. When I look at the data sheet of my device, the LED is C13, so this will be PC13. So let's change this one and try to run Cargo Blink again. And now we can see a blue LED blinking. So that was it. Uh, this is how you get Embassy running on an STM32 with a little bit of changes and maybe fixing probe run. Hopefully that won't be required in maybe a couple of weeks or months. I hope this was interesting or helpful or maybe both. Have a great day.